Alright, we're gonna do a video of customer decorum. How to act when you come to my register. Alright, if you're gonna come to my register with all this crap, don't tell me that you only want to spend $30. Because you know this is more than fucking $30. So don't say, oh, tell me when you hit 30 because that's not gonna fly. You know when you hit 30, you know what you're here to buy. Don't come with all this crap. Another thing, don't come and tell me how much is this? How much is this? How much is this? Shit has a price for a reason. You can see, you can find it at any aisle underneath the item. So don't come and give me all the shit and say how much is each thing. Don't don't tell me, oh, check the price for me when it's like a million crap. Okay, another thing, if you see that the light is off, that means that the register is closed. If you see the light is off, you see other registers have the light on. That means that they're open. That means go to them. But if you see that the light is off, don't come to a register and bring your crap and say, oh, you know, I just got one thing. It doesn't matter. That means the light is off. That means they told the person that they were already going, the last person that we're gonna help, that they were gonna help them. So don't come and say, oh my God, I only have one thing. Because you know, they gotta go to lunch or they gotta go on their break. And you, you know, you're just gonna fuck up their timing. So they need to go. So they already told the person that they're, they're gonna help the last, that they're gonna help, they're gonna be the last. So don't come, if you see the light is off and you see me standing there, that means I'm either trying to close my register or whatever. So it doesn't mean come, I'm gonna be here helping you wasting my time. If a place says 20 items or less, that means 20 items or less. That doesn't mean let me do a transaction of 20 items and then another transaction of another 20 items. It means 20 items or less. It means no more, no less. That's what it is. Go ahead, cut up. Okay, another thing, when you're gonna pick up something and you're gonna see, like, look at it and shit like that, put it back where you got it. See, this goes here. Because if you put this here and just leave it there, some dumbass is gonna think it's $12. They will think it. Even though it says something else, they're gonna see, oh, it's $12. And they're gonna go and argue with me about it being $12. When it really is $34.96. See, see, it even says trilogy. This is it. Back to the Future Trilogy. Not this. This is some bullshit Legends of the Fall or whatever. So when you get something, put it back where it is. And if you can't, ask for assistance. Okay, another thing, if you want a game, if you're gonna buy it, buy it. If you're gonna buy a game, okay, that's cool. You come and you say, can you open it? I'm gonna get the game. You don't say, oh, can you open this and look at it for like 10, 15 minutes and then decide that you're not gonna get it. If you're not gonna get it, you look at it. Look at it all you want. But don't tell somebody to come and open the register, open the box for you and all this shit. You're just wasting their time. That's all it is. Okay, another thing. It's okay to read the magazines. Nobody's telling you shit. We're not 7-Eleven. We're not gonna tell you this isn't a library, whatever. But the thing is, if you're gonna fucking read a magazine and not buy it, don't come and just go like this and walk away. That's so much bullshit because we have to pick them up and we have to put them away. What you do is, you pick up a magazine, you're done reading it, fucking have some class and put it back. You know, it's not that fucking hard. It's just over here. Just fucking put it away 